Have you ever felt really discouraged after a sales call? You know, you come in with a ton of energy and a ton of enthusiasm, but the prospect just doesn't seem interested. This is something that I see all the time with sales reps and enterprise sales. Do you want to know what the real problem is? They lack business acumen. Business acumen is kind of like being able to think like a business owner thinks. It's understanding what drives their revenue, their profits, and creates efficiencies. And most sales reps, they don't really understand this. And as soon as they hit a tough question, they get exposed and the executive on the other end realizes that they aren't a true expert. So if you gain a real understanding of what drives profits, not just for your target industry, it, it also helps you negotiate and handle objections better and handle those objections in real time because now you'll be viewed as a consultant instead of a salesperson. When I started Order Solutions, which was a call center for major restaurant chains like Denny's, Firehouse Subs, and TGI Fridays, I realized the importance of logic in enterprise sales. So. I had to understand my customers' challenges so deeply, and then I had to be able to explain how our solutions could boost their revenue, cut their costs, and improve their customer and employee experience. Now, I want you to imagine something for a second, being in a room with top-level executives and not just being able to speak their language, but being able to guide the conversation and showing that you really know your stuff and that you have true expertise. Picture them nodding in agreement, hooked on your every word, that you say because you actually understand their real business needs. And that's what these six strategies I'm about to share with you can do for you. So step one, grasp basic business fundamentals. Before diving into sales, you need to familiarize yourself with fundamental business concepts like profit margins and P&L management. This foundational knowledge is crucial to have good negotiations and persuade executives. Step two, know the industry that you're selling to. Every industry has its own unique challenges and drivers. Identify what's happening in your industry and you need to learn the intricacies of that industry so you can position yourself as an industry expert. Step three, understand your product or your service deeply. You need to understand what sets your solution apart. Why does your company exist? What is the specific problem that you solve? And then understand how your solution can actually give your client an ROI and how long that payback period for that ROI is. You need to understand everything when it comes to the different scenarios of your product and service and why it's valuable. And step four, know your competitors. In B2B sales, you're constantly going to be compared with your competitors. So you need to understand their model, their pricing models, and why you're different so you can clearly explain why your solution is the best and why they should choose your solution. Step five, you need to know your case studies. Be ready with your company's success stories, relevant statistics, especially for companies that are similar to the one you're pitching to. Step six, know the objections in advance. If you actually prepare to handle objections in advance, you'll be able to tackle them at ease and plus you'll be able to handle objections on the fly if you truly know your industry and you know your competitors and you know the problem you solve and if you want to go deeper into these six strategies and not just be a good sales rep, but be a great sales rep, I have a free resource for you. It's a free cheat sheet that goes deeper into these six strategies and you can get free instant access. Just click the link below or the link in my bio and you'll get free instant access.